So the STG-44 has arrived here in Modern Warfare 3, and I will say this, it is probably one of the top tier assault rifle metas here in the game. Very low recoil, very good damage range by default without any attachments, and you can build it out in several different ways. This particular build is going to be built around versatility, meaning you can go for close range, medium range, long range, but if you guys are looking for other builds like zero recoil, long range builds, or close range movement style of builds, make sure you guys go down in the comments section and let me know what i got for you guys today is an absolute banger though getting us started here with our first attachment i have the slate reflector as always this is going to be a preference the iron sights aren't too bad not my personal cup of tea but i definitely could make a build if you guys wanted to see that you could go with the jack glasses optic maybe the mk3 reflector at the end of the day you guys can run whatever you want here for the rear grip you guys are going to want the citadel grip for recoil control and gun kick control at the only sacrifice of aiming out of sway nothing too crazy there we are going to be gaining 10 percent across the board to that recoil it's going to significantly help you towards the longer range fights for an ammunition type i am going with the high grain rounds in order to increase the bullet velocity and damage range i didn't feel a need to run a barrel because they all have cons that target your movement or target your aim down sight speed or even some circumstances your recoil control whereas the High green rounds are going to give you a 15% increase, bringing your damage range up to 51 meters, another 15% to the bullet velocity, with only very small values there towards that recoil control being lost. For my under barrel, I am going with the X10 Phantom 5 hand stop. That's going to give you sprint to fire speed, aim down sight speed, vertical recoil control, and gun kick control. This is kind of what ties all of this into being versatile by increasing that aim down sight speed there and sprint to fire speed. So you can see our ADS speed is at 254 milliseconds with the 7% increase. That's very average when it comes to assault rifles meaning if you get into a close range engagement you do have a chance to win it and on top of that we're getting that sprint to fire speed and recoil control of course in our final attachment the zem compensated flash hider that's going to take care of a little bit more recoil control but also fire aiming stability which will control the visual shake on the weapon and make it much more steady so it's going to be five percent to that horizontal recoil control 15 percent to the vertical and like i stated that fire aiming stability so here's going to be all the attachments on the screen if you guys needed to pause the video to copy all these down now would be the time to do so here is also the rest of the out if you guys also wanted to copy this down the demolition vest actually got a buff you can now run two gear slots with this thing so definitely a little bit of a change up here if you guys definitely wanted to see what i'm running i will say there is one downside to this weapon and it is going to be the slower side of fire rate it's only 600 rounds per minute but that only time that really comes to be a big factor is if you're fighting against something like an fjx horus or a rival nine something at extremely close range other than that it's an absolute blast. Definitely a top tier meta assault rifle here in Modern Warfare 3. Make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe button. As always, I got a gameplay on the new map bait. Probably my best gameplay I've ever had on a brand new map. So one you're going to want to watch through. Let's get over into it. So we're using the STG over here on bait. I wanted to get at least one of the new maps in my in one of my videos today. And bait just happened to be the one that popped up. I definitely would have taken yard if it popped up as well. I'm definitely more of a fan of bait actually over yard. Uh, yard. Listen, the cell shaded stuff is cool. Not for close range engagements like that. That's where you struggle. Like I'm lucky to have won that one. And when they run at me like that, it does become more challenging. I'll admit it. And my team's really getting pushed back here. I'm not really interested in a nuke. That's not really what I'm targeting. I just want to feature the map. We got an advance. That's good. I'm just going to play for next hill here. Oh, they got spawned somehow. I don't like that. We're going to hit a dip around the back here. See if we can. Dude, I'm, I'm in danger. I'm really in danger. Hold the phone, hold the phone. I actually could nuke, but it's gonna be a challenge. It's gonna be a task here. I just can't push like I want to. I'm probably, I'm gonna VTOL. I wasn't going to, but they're so aggressive on me. I need a reason to keep them back. Let's see what that does. I'm still unsure of the spawns. I wasn't originally targeting a nuke here. That was not the plan, but with the current state of things, oh, you can mount on that. That's good, except I don't want tax stance. I didn't know you could get up on that. I saw him back there. 
Somebody just shot at me unintentionally. I'm going to go back here. I'm slowing down my pace for sure, but that's honestly kind of simple. I want the nuke. We'll see what this can do. The VTOL is doing nothing. I'm on a 23, so it is 30 again. Where the heck did this guy come from? Oh, they spawned on me, dude. That was a shocker, to be honest. I didn't think they were going to do that. But me standing here, you would think in theory that they wouldn't spawn on me. Once I get this nuke, I'm probably going to try to speed the pace up again. That's going to be the plan of action here. The VTOL definitely bought me some space. I will say that. Um, again, I think I'm going to VTOL it. It gives me that sense of security because it slows them down, down just a little bit. There we go. Okay, MGB is in. Let's get aggressive with it. That locks us in a W, so that's main reason I'm targeting it there. I'm out of bullets. Well, I'm glad I nuked this. It was definitely not in the cards. I was just trying to feature it. Give it my best go of things. Ooh, that guy just fried me. I'm gonna be above me here for sure. This is w one of the reasons this just doesn't work on on close range engagements. Simple, simple explanation there. When they run up on you like that and they have a fast firing weapon, but this only having a 600 rounds per minute, it just doesn't work. I guess I'll play the hell. Ah, dude, I think I was like one kill off of another VTOL there and I could have snuck away. If I could have snuck out of that. Little time to work with here. Got to be cognizant of the time. I'm just so stuck. I can't just rush into hills with this one. They're all there. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Buy us sometime again on the hill. We'll drop that right on it. I'm happy I was able to nuke this on my first go around. I saw my first go around of the map. I played it a little bit. But, but I mean, his first go around of uh, attempting to nuke this, I guess. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. They keep spawning on me. Nade. Bro, what am I supposed to do? They're literally spawning next to me. To shotgun to the melon.
That's not good. We're getting pinched. Now they're back behind me. Thank you, squad. Appreciate you. I'm out of bullets. This is a bad time to be out of bullets. Got a little more game here. Not much. All right. I'm going to get this VTOL in one more time, hopefully, and then hit the MGB. This guy wants to go here. I'm just watching it. Yep, there he goes. All right. Oh, this is a spot. That's a good one. This right here is a good spot because that's a spawn right there. I mean, man, what more could I have asked for out of this one? Jeez, I'm crow 132 on my first game plan on this map. Seriously? I seriously don't know much more I could have asked for. All righty. 133 is our final there. Ah, I don't think I've ever done that well in a new map ever.